The latest on the Alec Baldwin case, the special prosecutor in the Rush shooting has stepped down after objections about her role from Baldwin and his legal team. Mola Lange has the details. Good morning, Mola. Well, good morning, George. Baldwin's trial is still a few months away, but his legal team, his defense team, appears to have already scored at least a few wins, including the resignation of this special prosecutor. This morning, another legal victory for Alec Baldwin. Special Prosecutor Andrea Reeves stepping down ahead of the criminal trial for the shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the movie Rust. Overnight, Reeves releasing a statement saying, It has become clear that the best way I can ensure justice is served in this case is to step down so that the prosecution can focus on the evidence and the facts, which clearly show a complete disregard for basic safety protocols that led to the death of Helena Hutchins. Baldwin had earlier filed a motion to disqualify Reeb from the case, his lawyers arguing it's unconstitutional for her to serve as both a special prosecutor and a state legislator. The defense is going to see this as a win because what they did was they brought her in because she has a special skill set. They now have to see who they're up against. So it's always about leveling the playing field for the defense. Baldwin and Rust Armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed each faced two counts of involuntary manslaughter for the October 2021 shooting. This after prosecutors recently dropped a gun enhancement charge that carried a maximum sentence of up to five years in prison. Baldwin maintaining that he never pulled the trigger in Hutchins' shooting death in a 2021 interview with George Stephanopoulos. So you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. never. That was the training that I had. You don't point a gun at me and, and pull the trigger at them. Well, a preliminary hearing for this trial is still scheduled for May 3rd, and at this point, there is no word from the DA's office in Santa Fe on whether a new special prosecutor will be appointed in this case, guys. All right, Mulder, thank you for the update. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.